What up, though, y'all? It's your boy, Bill. I appreciate everybody. Love everybody. Y'all already know it. Thank you for everybody that was dropping all them get well soon things. I still ain't got my voice 100%, but I feel one million times better. Um, and uh, y'all know, I, you know, when it did me a little traveling. You know how I do. No, I don't like to sit around for too long. But, um, hey, listen, bro. I just want to let y'all know I do appreciate y'all for real. And once we get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a $1,000 giveaway. 500 going to be only to the membership. 500 going to be to people that's not a part of the membership. Like 100 per person. I'm going to just randomly pick 10 people. So let me tell y'all about this guy by the name of Boogaloo. He ended up at this time. Now, now if he's still there, it'll be even longer. But once upon a time, he was in the hole for at least a year. This is what I know for a fact. I'm going to tell you how he ended up doing a year in the hole and how he used to be one of the guys. And at this point wasn't no more this guy was a part of well i'm not gonna say a part of it because i don't want to seem like i'm disrespecting nobody religion and it comes off like i'm saying this is a group or something or a gang or whatever but he believed in something called ephi ephi from my understanding is a ancestor type thing they they speak to the ancestors and it gives them guidance on everyday life i guess he also was a with them people take them cards and they flip them and read them and stuff like that like tell you things about your life this is what he used to do this was his hustle this is how he used to make his money now this is my thing this i ain't i've never been okay with this idea it's a guy got a stack of cards right stack of cards it's only 40, 50 cards. So it's only 40, 50 pictures. But when he shuffle them up, he can use this 20,000 different times on different people. And all of that going to represent something different, individual based. I just don't, I don't know. To me, it's not real flaky. So that's what he used to do. That was his hustle. And I used to always hear people talking about it and, you know, shooting up there to his room, going up there. And like he used to real life have people worked up with this stuff. My roommate Lil G, he used to always do that, bro. He used to always go up there 24-7. He used to always ask me to use the phone. His folks used to always give him money and all that. One day I had to have a real sit down with Lil G. He asked me for a pack of noodles. One time I gave it to him. He asked me for a pack of noodles again, second time, and I asked him, Bro, what are you doing with your money? Because here's the thing. I ain't never been selfish. I never been the stingy type. I don't mind giving nobody nothing. I give a lot. But when I sit here and watch you get a lot of money, what the like what are you doing with your money? Because fuck it. That's not a crow. When I sit here and watch you get a lot of money, you receive a lot of money from your family. And you think you just going to go do whatever you want to do with yours? And then feel like, oh, CB has got a good heart. Let me know. Hell no. He, he, no. He tell me he using his money to get himself right with God. I said, what? what? Get yourself right with God? What you mean? He like, man, Boogaloo be really just showing me. You feel me? He be having readings. He be calling his priest on the phone. He do car readings sometimes, but really, he be calling his Really, he be calling his priests on the phone. And, bro, we be on video chat, and they just be explaining it to me. I be sitting there watching his priest do everything he got to do, bro. And I just be having to pay for my sessions, you feel me? That's what I spend all my money on, bro. I'm just trying to get myself right with God. I'm like, folks, so what it is exactly are you paying for? You say you paying for readings and stuff, and he's doing stuff. What is it exactly is he doing for you, and you're giving him money in exchange for it? He said, bro, it's just all kind of stuff be going on in the nigga life. I said, like what? 
He said all kind of stuff. I'm like, well, nah, I ain't got no noodles for you, bro. If you're going to take your money and use your money doing this, I ain't got nothing for you, Jack. Over time, as time go by, I just keep seeing this dude stay running up there, stay running up there. And I'm watching him one day. He's sitting there looking at his box. I'm laying down on the bunk. He's looking at his box. He ain't saying nothing to me. He's not even looking at me, but I'm looking at him, bro. And it's just the look on his face. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Just like a. I don't even know how to describe it. He's standing in his box, nothing in there. What the hell, huh? James, you take your life. <laughs> that be my biggest thing. People be saying they this, that, they can do that and change that. Show me something that doesn't change. I asked him, I'm like, bro, you straight? He like, yeah, man, just feel me. The priest just told me something crazy. I don't even want to believe it, you feel me? But it's, it's just so true. And I know it's true because he told me some other stuff about myself. You feel me? That I ain't never told nobody. So I know it's true. I said, what he told you? He said, I can't tell nobody, bro. He said, I can't tell nobody, bro. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. And I'm just thinking about it, bro. I'm just thinking. I don't care, to be honest. I don't care because I don't believe in all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know there is stuff real. There's things out here that's like that. But I personally, you know, my belief system operates slightly differently. It's certain things I do and certain things I do not believe in. I don't care, but I care when I see people like Lil G spending all his bread on it, you feel me? And it's like, come on, bro. And I, in the back of my mind, I feel like Buddy working a one anyway. I ain't got no factuals to prove that, but still. I'm in there lying down one day, knocking the door. I'm like, yo, Boogaloo, bro. I'm like, come on. He opened the door, he coming there. He like, where the hell Lil G at? He got a he got like a notepad in his hand. He getting ready to turn around. I'm like, shit, he in the shower. What's up? What the hell you got going on, Boogaloo? Now nah, I feel like I'm finna get him a light screening session real quick because, hell no. Nah. So he like, oh, nah, man. Just got off the phone with the priest. He just gave me some good news about your bump, mate. Man, I just got to holler at him real quick. So I said, hey, so look, what is it exactly that you do? Because, I mean, I've heard from other people, but I ain't never got a real deal breakdown from you directly. So just really show me, break it down to me. I might be interested. I'm really finagling on him. I'm not interested in nothing he's talking about. So he said, bro, I am a, uh, damn, what did they call it? Because it was like two of them saying that they was that. A babalow. I think I talked about this babalow thing. Babalow. He said, I am a babalow. I am a priest. He said, but I don't got all of the things here that I need to do certain things. So I got to call my other priest that's in Africa, Haiti, Jamaica, and I got to talk to them. And I just tell them what to do, how to do this, how to do that to, you know, poor readings for certain people. He said, but bro, he said, man, I could tell you about your life. I could tell you about the type of person you is. I could tell you what's going to happen, how you going to die, uh, what, what you need to do. You feel me? If you trying to be successful, you want to be rich, you want to be happy. He was like, uh, bro, you know how many times I don't stop wars? I'm like, what you mean? He like, you know, you know how many times the guys was getting ready to go to war, but we didn't know nothing about it. I went and got it right based off of that. I'm like, nah, I don't know about all that. So he like, I'm telling you, bro, it's a fact. So he was like, shit, that's just what I do. He was like, if you want to do a reading, bro, he was like, it ain't number 275. He said, bro, I'll tell you, I'll say 275, what? $2.75. He said, hell no, nah, boy, $275. He said, boy, I can have a full breakdown on your life. I can tell you any and everything, boy. I'm like, nah, I'm straight. I'm straight. I'll let you know. I'm like, well, shit, I'll just let you know. I'll let you know if I'm ready. So he like, I bet. So he leave out the room. I mean, he got me fucked up. I'm not, you know, damn, $250 to tell me what? Tell me what? Hell no. Nah. He gone about his business. One of the guys come in my room about two, two weeks later. He said, AC Bill. I'm like, what's on? He said, pull up the boogaloo room ASAP right now. I jump up, throw my shoes on, candy bar. I shoot over there. When I come out the room, I see, when I come out the room, I see multiple other guys going in the room. So I'm like, oh shit, something crazy done happened. Bro, when I went in there, boogaloo was sitting on the floor, all of the guys up surrounding him. This man was sitting on the floor with his hands like this, his eyes doing crazy stuff like that. And he just sitting here down there rocking a little bit. And then he got up, he was like, <sighs> like he just super drained and tired. He sat down on the bunk. 
He said, hey, listen, y'all, I just got some information from one of the ancestors, and I just just pulled the energy from this dormitory. He said, I don't know what them folk got going on, but the blood's finna try to pop on us. I don't know exactly what the hell going on. He said, but, but our ancestors can throw out a couple layers of protection for us real quick, so we'll make sure we don't go out bad. We gonna win for sure if we do this ritual real quick and, and throw out these layers of protection. It was like the shit cost a band, bro. It cost a thousand dollars, but we could put it all together real quick. I'm telling you, bro, that'll protect us, that'll help us well. I'm sitting here looking at this man like, oh, this gotta be a prank. There is no way you sitting here telling me this to my face. Like my name, Cornball Jamal. That's really how you finna try me like that? That's what I'm thinking. I go to looking at these other goofies. Shit, I got, I got 150 on it. Shit, but I might got eighty dollar. Shit, I got two hundred. I'm like, what? So I said right in front. Of, I'm like, bro, ain't no way y'all talk about some. I'm like, bro, that don't even sound right. Boogaloo told me, bro, I swear, bro. So everybody go to vouching for him down there talking about. Nah, CBL, nah, CBL, buddy official. Listen, he official count the cap with. It. I'm talking about every time something went left, he was official. They they did what he telling us to do now. No issue. I'm telling you, buddy, official. So now I just shut up. I say, you know what? I don't believe it, but it's people real life vouching for you saying you've been camp to camp doing this. So at this point, I just need to shut up because I don't need to keep talking. And then, you know, he really know what the hell he doing or something like that. I don't got nothing on it, though, because I don't believe it, even though, you know, I'm kind of like, well, I don't know. I still I don't got nothing on it because I don't believe in stuff like that. I believe in do the right thing. Don't run around being no bully, start nothing with nobody. Stay prayed up, and then when the BS come your way, handle your business. I don't believe I need no priest to pay. Hell nah. Tell me you gonna put a protection over me and the person who doing it over the phone on video chat. Yeah, no, you need to get you a shield and come stand right in front of me for a thousand dollars. <laughs> so we leave out the room. So you know, I'm paying attention to the bloods now. I'm trying to see if they moving a little flaky or whatever. Maybe I might be tripping or whatever. I'm just trying to see, because sometimes people try to play it off. People think they so slick. Like, if we planning on popping them, we'll do things purposely. Like, we will never group up. Do not, if we trying to do it secretive and just surprise them, do not group up together. That's number one. Number two, um, do not group up. You might not even have no boots on. Just look like you're doing regular stuff. Don't be staring at nobody. So I'm like, okay, that's a possibility. They could be trying one of them type of moves. I'm watching them. I don't see nothing strange going on. After a few minutes, it do look like they start doing a little huddling up or whatever. Now, I was cool with one of the blue, blood dudes. He do like this to me. So when he do like that, I'm looking at him. He's standing in his corner upstairs by the shower. It's like four of his guys up there. It's like five of them. So I'm walking over here, but I look back this way to one of my guys from Cordell, see if he was on point, he was looking right at me. So I just wanted to make sure he seen me because I don't know if you trying to get me up here in this corner and trick me or what, like I don't know what you got going on, but I'm finna go up here and holler at you though. So I go upstairs, I'm like, what's up bro? He like, hey bro, look, you feel me? Boogaloo really got life fucked up. And bro, nigga, nigga, nigga real life finna pop his ass here and come on with my shit, bro. I, I fuck with you, I got respect for you, bro, but I'm just trying to see like, bro, hell no. I'm like, what you mean, what the hell, uh, what the hell he got going on? He say, listen, bro, about a week ago, I came to hell with my situation, cause you feel me, I be hearing, you know, nigga a priest, and he be pulling shit off or whatever. About a week ago, I, I go tell the nigga that my old lady's son, feel me, he been kinda sick, she been kinda scared, you know what I'm saying, whatever the case is, bro. You feel me? Like, he be having lung issues and she think he gonna die, bro, cause he still love. You feel me? A young nigga like two, three. He done been in the hospital 20, 30 times already. And I'm just trying to see if there's anything, you feel me, you could do for that. And he told me, let him talk to the other priest. He came back in the room and told me that he'll, they'll put some type of, they're gonna do a ritual where we got the all be in there. I had the car shot on FaceTime. On FaceTime. And then her son, she had to put his face in the camera. And then he had another phone. And then on his phone, it was him and another priest. They was doing stuff. They were saying stuff. They were making me repeat stuff, making old girl repeat stuff, making her son repeat stuff. And uh, he told us, bro, 
that they just did a ritual and put protection over that child and that he is A1, that won't nothing happen to him. It don't matter what the doctors say, what the hospitals say, none of that, bro. Won't nothing happen to him and that he's protected, bro. You feel me? Bro, this morning, Shadi Sanjay died, bro. You feel me? So it's on some shit like that. I'm not blaming Boogaloo for her son dying. Of course, because, I mean, at the end of the day, he was already sick. And it was already kind of understood that, you know, he may be gone soon. That was already an understanding amongst her, the doctors, me, all that type of stuff. But the fact that I paid this man and he telling me that, little bro, A1 ain't nothing finna happen to him. And it happened. All I want is my money back, bro. Because that's cap. You feel me? That was a scam. All I wanted was my money back. And... And I'm willing to just take half of it back because I halfway knew better than that anyway. You feel me? This is a grown man. Nigga, ain't nothing you can do about that. You feel me? He was like, so I told him I'm willing to just take half back if you ain't got my money. But I told him this morning, bro, I want my money back today. Or I'm popping you, bro. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not playing, bro. I want my money today. So I was like... How much money did you uh, pay him? He said, man, I paid that man two racks. I said, and you told him you're willing to take half of it back? He said, yeah. I told him I'm willing to take half. I'll take a rack back, bro, but he better come on with it, bro. On oh, God, I'm finna pop that man. I ain't trying to start nothing between the Bloods and the GDs, but, bro, it's just gonna have to be what it's gonna have to be. I said, all right, say less. I got you. Just give me a sec. Man, I shot away from there. I went in the room, picked up the phone, called one of the guys in the door and had more pool than me. I'm like, G, come to my room real quick. He came to the room. I went to telling him what was just told to me. He like, you a damn lie. You know, these guys was just in the room. Oh, I got 250 on it. I got 80 on all some scary shit. Not even knowing what's going on for real. So he said, you lying. I said, oh, God. He said, man, call that nigga in. Stick my head out there, call the blood dude. But I don't make a big scene. I just try to get his attention. Like, come here. He come downstairs in the room. I'm like, bro, tell Big Bro what you just told me. He repeat the exact same thing. So Big Bro like, damn, bro, I'm sorry that happened to your son. He like, nah, that ain't my son. That old shouty son. But shit, it is what it is. So he like, all right, say less. So he tell the blood dude to step out. He like, man, we finna kill Boogaloo. So I'm like, hold on, G. Won't do no killing now. Feel me? Beat his ass or something, but and get that money on back up out of him or whatever the case for everybody to get their money back. And he got to be responsible for buddy money. He tell me, go get the guys one by one, one by one. Go get them, including Boogaloo. Boogaloo coming the room. I stand outside the room, do security. I think I was holding the door for probably about... I was probably holding the door for about a good 30 seconds. And then I hear Brad saying, Watch out, see Bill? So then I move out the door. Boogaloo come running out. He already kind of big, chunky dude. He come running out. He got knots on his forehead. He done fell right then and there. And then big brush screen. He ain't gangster, nigga. Hey, man, attention doing that nigga. Not GD. So when he say that, the blood dude take out running down the step with the candy bar. You said, he said, he, you said he ain't what, bro? You said he ain't what? And dude was like, that nigga ain't GD. Nigga, oh. Boogaloo jumped up, trying to run to the door. Blood dude came up on him swinging. I'm talking about swinging that thing. Fast, hard, left, right, swift. But like I say, Boogaloo got a little weight on him. You know what I'm saying? There's another blood dude coming down like he finna assist him. Boogaloo kicked the first dude. He went back, falling back. The girl who was on point, she hit the door to the booth. Boogaloo slid straight out the uh, booth without nobody else doing nothing crazy to him. And then... He was in the hole for a long time, like a year. And then I went in there one day. I was about to be rooming. I, I knew better than that. But I went in there one day and, like, gave him some dap. And he went to doing some weird stuff, talking about some, ooh. Once, I, once he touched my hand, go do some weird shit like that. Talk about some, the energy, whoever hand I was just shaking was bad energy, something like that. I had to get out the room with him immediately. But I remember telling y'all about him but I never gave y'all the backstory on why he was even in the hole for a year. So that's what happened with all that wannabe priest type of stuff. But 
I am on like a little slight vacay right now, but I'm still working. I know I've been down for a few days. I've been a little under the weather. Feel me? I done got better. It's your boy Bill. I'm gone. Make sure y'all do the right thing. Stay out the streets. Stay away from these goofies telling y'all, you go spin that nigga block. Look, bro. Man, beat that nigga head. Look, bro. Why y'all? It, it's so much more to life, bro. It's so many more things nigga can be doing and learning about. You feel me? Life get better. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I like this one. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What the fees? What the fees? What the fees?